Wow. One of the best podcasts yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's good. There's so much about it that I love. <laughs> I really liked when um she said, um, don't focus focus on problems, focus on the solution. I'm so proud to be a nerd. Me too. <laughs> yes. Uh, I was really insecure in school because I was bullied and I started to focus more on school. So I became the nerd. I was really insecure because people called me the nerd, but now I'm so proud of it because mm -hmm. it got me somewhere. Learning came easier for me than, you know, social rules and all that. Now I embrace that part of me because that sort of focus and that dedication is what got me through med school and what got me through my PhD and what, you know, when I have a specific task, I'm a nerd about finding the ways that work for me. So I really like that thing which you were saying about being a nerd about the solution, really like. Last week I was invited to be on Clubhouse and mm -hmm. we started the anti-bullying crew to find a solution to end bullying on social media. And I'm, I'm not an English native speaker. So a lot of words were so confusing to me, my mission is to learn these words and to educate myself so I can talk and help. And also you never know who's watching. So when you're doing something, there can be three or four people watching, but it can grow from there. One of those three or four might just be the person that needs it. If I can just inspire one person that's already enough, then I'm content, I'm happy, and I've reached my goal. If it made your day better, what you, what you did is worth it, I would say. Yeah. I love what you said about, I want to be the creative whisperer. He seems so selfless in that sense. He really wants to inspire people, but he's not wanting that spotlight. He just really wants to pay forward. And I really like that. He was so authentic, you know? Yeah. Yes. yes. Keep hustling. That was another good thing. Yeah. And the fact that she said, you've been hustling from day one. It's not like you don't know how to do it. Diamonds like, polishing diamonds. Yes. Yes, that's a good yes. quote. I love no one it. feels bad when you say it like that. And that's La Familia, and that's karaoke and chats. We have like to take care of each other and the courage is each other. It's just like La Familia. Yeah, that's one thing that stood out when uh, he said, I love when people succeed. That reminded me of La Familia. All of wanting everyone to do good and love watching everyone grow. We make too much food, we're all going to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. And become the best champion for each other's vision. I like that one as well. And always pay it forward. And not just do it for ourselves, but for the next generation and the future ahead. Yes. You don't have to know the person helping. When Danai said, um, you learn so much when you help others, that is so true. Like I noticed that in my work, I noticed that in creativity. That conversation, can you help me with this? I've never done it before. Let me figure this out. That was literally... Her asking me about the talking pictures that you see every time on social media. She was trying to explain to me what she meant. And I'm like, I haven't done it before. But it's like fun. I'll figure it out. Because that's cool. How to do that if it weren't for her asking me how to. There's one thing I like that Denai said. Um, show up and don't be afraid. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I, thought that that was, I thought that was a good quote. Yeah, I truly believe that. I mean, half the battle is showing up, in, in my opinion. Sometimes showing up is hard. But you have to take that step. And what really inspired me is that she she saw herself there, like her vision was already there. My vision is also like going to LA because of my opportunities as a kid's hairdresser and also as a dancer. Like I've been dreaming for this for years. They did talk about long-term goals, so there you go, Nina. Yeah, and, and with the longevity also comes the, the asking, why are you here? What is your intention with it? It's a great question, and you can ask it in multiple places within your own life, I think. What I liked what Ben said as well was, if you get paid for anything, rather build something out of it. Don't spend it on expensive clothes or anything like that. Yeah. Don't get the $5,000 jeans. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> I loved when she talked about how great of a cook I was <laughs> and, and how amazing, amazing I am in the kitchen. I was like a proud parent when she started talking about the uh, all of our singing and dancing, the karaoke's and man. And what a fun community we are. Yeah. We just want to thank you all for being such yes. an amazing community. I'm sending an air hook. <laughs>